Hi. Welcome back to Washington. Thank you. Um, we're happy to see you here. Um, how are you feeling? And what have you been working on specifically for the hard court season leading up to the U.S. Open? Um, yeah, feeling, feeling great again. Um, had a couple of days off after Wimbledon and uh, start working uh, almost two weeks. So feeling good again. And, um, well, I got, you know, I tried to have a good couple of matches, you know, I think important to have a uh, good couple of matches to gain uh, um, uh, confidence and, uh, well, I might have tough first round, you know, Stan or Young, so we, the both players are tough players, so it's going to be tough, but uh, I try to play, uh, uh, play focus from the first match. Okay, what are some of the things you do to prepare yourself mentally and to keep yourself mentally strong throughout injuries? Well, I try to keep motivated myself and also my coaches. That's too. Uh, they try to pump up myself. Uh, and uh, well, after coming back uh, injury, you know, I, tr I think I'm enjoying a little more this uh, challenge. You know, I was. Um, about 30 ranking, and I had to come from, uh, you know, sometimes no suited, and uh, so I'm, you know, I, I'm really enjoying this challenge this year. I know it's going to be tough, but uh, uh, I feel like I'm, you know, I'm back again, and uh, uh, my wrist is okay, and my tennis is back, so um, I'll try to, to aim, you know, top 10 now, and uh, that's my goal and uh, my motivation. After your injury, do you do anything differently to prepare yourself? Do you, are you afraid to do anything because of your injury, or is that...? Uh, well, I was. Uh, after maybe a couple of tournaments coming back uh, from injury, I was still scary and uh, had a pain too, so it wasn't easy, you know, like... Like, I think everybody's still in having this problem, but now I'm, uh, you know, I got a lot of confidence, especially I think Monte Carlo helped me to, to go in final uh, again in Masters, and uh, um, well, still, I feel it sometimes, but, you know, most of the time I'm feeling great, so, um, yeah, now I'm enjoying uh, tennis again. Thank you, Kay. Um, welcome back to Washington. Um, I just wanted to know if you uh, had heard that Yosuke uh, Watanuki, a fellow Japanese player, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, yeah, yeah, uh, he's good. qualified for his first uh, ATP World Tour tournament. I just wanted to know if you kn knew him or his brother. I believe they both play tennis. And, yeah, uh, yeah, I know him. Um, he's, uh, I think, one of the talented, most most talented player from Japan and upcoming. He's still young, and uh, uh, we, yeah, I like him. He's uh, he has good forehands, great forehand actually. Um, maybe better than me. So uh, I hope I hope he he does well, and uh, happy to see him playing good here. You know, being you know the the number one player in your country, do you feel any extra pressure, uh, you know, as a professional athlete, you know, uh, you know representing Japan uh, as you go about playing on the tour? Um, not really, actually, because uh, I think most of the time I live in states, and I see, you know, those guys all the time, and uh, when I was little, I used to hit with top players, like... Tommy Haas, uh, Mirny, um, Malise, you know, those top players. So I see them, you know, always um, very close. So, um, well, I'm, you know, really honored to be number one Asian or Japan uh, player, but my goal is to be, you know, uh, you know, uh, number one in the world. So, um, yeah, I don't feel any pressure from number one player in Asia. Um, it was a very humble statement that you made that your friend uh, had a, maybe had a better forehand than yours. Why is it better? Or oh. techni like technically, what does he do better? 
Um, he has more speed, I think. Uh, he has good swing speed and uh, good spin. Um, and uh, maybe not you know, great defense, but he has you know, great offense. Uh, he can use, you know, he's, he doesn't look like Japanese forehand. <laughs> like he, he looks like Spanish, you know. Um, he hits a lot of spin because usually we, we hit uh, more flat. So well, it's good to see something different. Does John Isner have a, an American forehand? Well, it's similar to maybe like Jack, you know. He has ah. great top spin for him. Okay, thank you. Um, not from your own playing days, but maybe as a tennis fan, I'm wondering what uh, memory do you have of the U.S. Open, a particular match or player, something that stands out from when maybe growing up watching U.S. Open on TV, let's say, or... But myself, I have a good memory. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks, Ken. Uh, I just wanted to ask about the, the, the shot clock, the service clock that they're going to be uh, having here and in the run up to the Open. What are your thoughts on that and uh, how it will affect your game and uh, other folks? Uh, it might be tough, tough for me because I usually take time take a lot of time actually between the points and um, especially this summer it's going to be tough if it's you know in Europe it might be okay but it's one of the hottest uh, place here and also US Open it's going to be hot so uh, I mean for my, myself it's not going to be easy and um, and not going to have too much time to think, you know, where should I go on my soul and don't have time to think much between the points. Um, and especially with this heat, you know, mentally it's going to be a little bit tougher, I think. Okay, what is it about Washington, D.C. that you like? Why do you like playing here? Um, well, I like the city. Uh, I like how they many mid buildings and uh, it's green city and uh, you know the side is you know it's i think building better and better every year and um, you know people are nice too so i see some japanese too here so uh, i always, always enjoy uh, playing here hi okay just going back to the shot clock have you or have you seen any other players like actually practicing you know their timing uh, so that they're able to like meet the shot clock uh, you know deadline <laughs> well there's many different players you know there's uh, the guy like uh, maybe Kyrgios, uh, Stan you know they, they play really quick but you know some guys you know like me or some other guys takes some time you know between the points so, um, some people like it but you know, maybe some people don't, but it might be good for, you know, the fans, you know. They, they want to see more points and more quick, quicker. Uh, last week you were training a little bit with Shapovalov. I think if you win your first match here and he wins his first match here, you, you would face each other. What's impressed you with his game and his rise over the past year? Um, well, he's uh, very talented. Uh, he was great. Uh, Great for him, great backhand, and good serve, and uh, he's also quick. Um, so yeah, I'm sure he's going to be you know top ten soon uh, if he plays uh, good tennis. Um, well, yeah, it's going to be. I think it's going to be tough. クレートシュバでだいぶいい感覚でテニスはできてたみたいですけどそれでもやっぱりハードコートを乗ってくるとあの好きなコートだからやりやすいなっていうのはありますかえまあ試合でそうですねまあやってみてですねまあ試合でま
、えーまあ、でもテニスは問題ないですね、あのこうえー、モンテカルロの前まではあのまだあんまりこういい感覚は戻ってなかったですけど、えーまあ、これグラスと戦ってきて、まあ、テニスも戻ってきてるので。えーまあ、あとはこう戦い方をまた思い出してあの試合でプレーできるかですね。いやあの思い出してますけど、まあ、試合でこう多分いい感覚が戻ってくれば、えー、またさらに自信はつくと思います。あのまあ、北米というこの、まあ、ハーードコート、まあトータルで見たらすごいまあいい成績をの過去残している季節ですけどもやっぱりこの芝が終わってやっぱアメリカに戻ってきてまあ自分のまあホームっていうかまあ日本とはの次のホームっていうかそういうでまあ季節的にも夏いい結果出てるっていうなんかそのまたこのシーズンからえ後半戦行くぞみたいな気持ちの面では今どういう状況になってますかえー、そうですね、あのまあ、あの去年、特に夏、出れてない分、取り戻したい、取り戻したいというか、まあ、こうある意味、チャンスというか、まあ、ランキングを伸ばすチャンスではあるので、うんまあ、頑張りたいなという気持ちは、えー、さらにはありますね、えーまあ、ハードはやっぱり好きなコートの一つなので。なるべくいい結果を残して、えーまあ、特に最初の、まあ、ここだったりあのトロントだったりあのいい結果を残したいですねその先の、まあ、ツアーファイナルというのは、まあ、その先ですけどもその辺も自分の中で今のポイントのランキングと積み重ねるので、はい、ちょっとやっぱり意識し始める時期でもありますか意識は知ってますね。えーまあ、まだまだ半年あるっちゃありますけど、まあ、特にこの夏でちょっと差をつけれればさらに近づいてくるので、えーまあ、でも、今年は結構活躍している選手が、あのーまあ、固まっている気はするので、えーまあ、難しい戦いにはなると思いますけど、まあ、特に最初、そんな良くなかったので前半。難しいとは思いますけど、まあ、なるべく狙えるこう位置にはいたいですね。<音楽>